the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion, bishops and archbishops led by the primate, His Grace, the Most Reverend Dr. Henry Ndukuba gathered at the Hebrew International Economical Center, Aguaroto, Delta State, for their yearly retreat, which held from Monday the 3rd to Friday the 7th of January 2022. The team for this year says it is the Lord, fresh encounter with the living God. Throughout the program, the church fathers sat on the different ministrations from well-seasoned men of God and professionals on Bible studies and topics bordering spirituality, leadership, collegiality among bishops, combating heretical teachings, children, youths and women ministries, missions and evangelism, retirement planning, investment and economic development of the diocese alongside spiritual development and many others. At the beginning of a year like this, after the toils and the struggles of the year 2021 and all the things that the Lord had taken us through, some may have uh, been distracted in one way or the other and maybe the challenges around us may have made us to look away from certain things that the Lord may be speaking to us or guiding us to do. But in this retreat, we, are, we have encountered God afresh. In this retreat, God has spoken to us in the echoes of his word and by the power of the Holy Spirit, I'm believing God that we are going home refreshed, challenged. We are going home trusting the Lord for great things. What we cannot do for ourselves by the presence and power of God, he will help us to do exploits. Uh, and uh, we are trusting God that he will recommission us again, renew our strength, our vision, our direction, and uh, help us so that we can engage in the ministry of the word and sacrament, in the mission of the church, and the equipping of the saints for the work of the ministry of the church. And um, this is a time to prayerfully consider what God would want us to do um, and respond to the promptings and leading of the Holy Spirit. And it has been very refreshing, very encouraging, very directional from God. And um, I'm believing God that we are going home renewed, refreshed, and focused. Um, uh, this year, the Lord will help us to do great exploits. The Lord will go before us and uh, he will turn every effort to be fruitful. He will make us fruitful in our work with him and in the things that he has committed to us. Other archbishops and bishops present revealed their thoughts on the retreat and its team. We meet to relearn what we are doing and it's like a refresher course meeting for us. But much more than that, as a retreat, it is a moment of listening to God Almighty on our ministries, especially uh, as we begin the year. You will observe that this retreat is normally at the beginning of the year. The first week of January is when, this, when all the bishops meet. So it helps us to analyze, to rethink our ministry, and also um, know what to do in future. And uh, it's also a time of fellowship of bishops. Because it's a matter of commitment, a matter of dedication, a matter of sacrifice. And that is what will lead you into that sort of, uh, uh, will I say, uh, inspiration of encounter. Let me say that for me, being in the House of Bishops now for 30 years, Honestly, we will be doomed if we stop learning. I mean, learning is such a wonderful, wonderful blessing. Uh, since the day before yesterday, yesterday and today, 
I've been taking notes and it's as if I've never heard this passage before. Everyone teaching is just so fresh and it is uh, a huge loss for anyone uh, as a bishop who does not take the opportunity of a collective one-week retreat as we have. Um, it means that um, we all should recognize the need to examine our lives and see ways that our passion has either um, weakened uh, and needs to be renewed or to just rediscover um, grounds that we need to cover. We are doing a work that is not just based on head knowledge. So we need renewed encounter for greater intimacy one with God for newer visions and directions. You know, the work with God is not static. Every day God will like you to come to this level, move to this direction, do things differently. But whenever you lose contact through daily encounter and intimacy, you're about to do this work outside God's own desire, perfect will, purpose and direction. In fact, it's a revival of our ministry. That is what I will, what I will put it, spiritual revival of our ministry. I will thank God for our primate. I will pray that the Lord will come to strengthen him and uh, the church will come to grow. I personally, going back to my diocese, will develop a diocese, spiritually, physically and mentally. Um, it's always easy to think that hey, we are still on track until you go back and make sure, check out So the tweet is calling us uh, with the revelation to um, appraise our work, not uh, to judge what we're doing, but just to appraise, make sure, so that we are on the right track. Uh, and there are so many other things that we've learned in this lady that will help uh, us personally and also help in piloting the affairs of our diocese. And we are trusting God for a flourishing year. At the be beginning of the year, we suppose even to uh, have a plan of what we are expected even to do and what we uh, God is uh, required from us even to do in his fire. So our gathering together is to refresh ourselves and uh, to have a new account based on the team of the seer.